you guys, Ashley here, and I just wanted to pop on and let you guys know that over at the Not Too Shabby Shop, Jamie just posted the new Sunny Studio release, and oh my gosh, you guys, it is so stinking cute, and it made me so excited for summer. So I did want to share with you a card that I made, and I will link below the shop, and if you head over, you can use my coupon code CRAFTYGIRL to get 10% off, and then at the end of this video, I will include some pictures of the new stamp sets that came out. So they are so, so cute. Um, Sunny Studio stamps. They just are totally cutesy. So these are the only ones that I own so far, but my collection just got bigger because I was already over at the shop ordering some stamps this morning. So um, I'll show you the ones that I do have. This one is called the Sunshine Die, and this is from the last release, but I'm just wanting to share so you guys get an idea of what type of stamps these are. And this die is so stinking cute. I love the originality of the quote. It's so sweet. And then I had got this for my design team package last month. And this one is called Rain or Shine. And this little puppy is so adorable. And I have been loving this stamp set so much. I just love all those super cute little images. And then this one was an Easter set. It's called A Good Egg. And this is an absolutely adorable set. There's just so much packed on here. And the sentiments are super cute too. So I will share with you guys the card I made. Um... I made this super cute little card and I just love this little girl so much. I had to paper piece her. If you saw my previous video, I made some little goodie bags using this little guy and I had to paper piece another one and I just paper pieced it with this doodle bug paper and it is so adorable. It looks like the little raincoat and rain hat have and the little ducky boots have flowers on them and I thought that from the other set there was a little pail and paintbrush and I thought how cute would it be if this little guy was painting the sky. So I put some little clouds there and using my Tim Holtz um, watercolor paper I just used a little bit of the Lawn Fawn ink. Actually I'll grab it really quickly to show you. Sorry, I didn't have it set out here. Um, I use this Lawn Fawn Fresh Lavender ink for that background. And it worked really nice, and it's a really nice pale lilac. And the stitching here is from the Wonky Stitch Avery L dye, and I've shown that one quite a bit. And so this little dog and the little clouds there are from this stamp set. It's the Rain or Shine one. Super, super cute. And then from the Good Egg, that's where I got the little pail and the little paintbrush there. So I just think that looks really adorable. And then I also wanted to share something else with you that I've been working on. I'm just going to bring it over to the camera. So I don't know if you guys have seen, but there is a pretty famous layout for scrapbooking that has all clouds. It is front back from like when two peas in a bucket used to be around and they had a YouTube channel and I love that layout so much. Search it on YouTube if you haven't seen it. It's so beautiful. And I just fell in love with the clouds that come on this dot are on this um, stamp set. This cloud right here you can see it's well loved. I've stamped it out a ton of times. Um, last night when I was watching TV with my husband, I brought down my scrap box and I just used a whole bunch of really cute little pieces that were in my scrap bin. And look at the stitching on there. This just makes the cutest clouds ever. So I'm going to be putting together a scrapbook page with this. Um, but I wanted to show you guys to give you some inspiration for this set. I was just so excited that it has the stitching. And I think that's a really neat effect. I haven't seen many stamps actually come to think of that I don't think I've seen any stamps that have that stitching on it and it just looks so nice on this paper and I use my doodle bug paper for a lot of these and look at this little birdie there's like little birds in the clouds so I tried to like match the pinks the blues purples greens yellows and oranges so anyways I just wanted to share that with you guys um I thought it's super cute so I wanted to show you guys um kind of what I'm in the middle of working on. Also, I wanted to mention that I had made this card um, in a tutorial a few days ago, and Jamie did get back this stamp set in stock. It's called Loads of Fun, and that's one of the sets that I used to make this. So I just wanted to let you guys know that as well. So anyways, I hope you guys will head over and check out the new Sunny Studio release. Let me know what you think of it. It is so, so adorable. I had to get a lot of them <laughs> because they're so cute. So I'll put some pictures for you guys, and... 
I just thought this would be a fun video to make. It's not a design team project or anything. I just, it's just kind of a what I've been working on and just a fun little to let you guys know video. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please head over and check out Not Too Shabby and use my coupon code CraftyGirl if you do make a purchase. Thank you guys so much. Bye now.